Okay, so it's 7NB here, and what we have here is just a jungle choga. Just a random game. I thought I'd upload it because I play AD Cho'Gath, which is pretty cool. He kind of suits the Atma's tanky DPS meta, utilizing the Wit's End and the Atma's. Overall, I think Cho'Gath would be a pretty legit jungler. Yeah, he'd be a pretty legit jungler and um, tanky DPS, but he can spawn. still play on the role of the tank. Just that, yeah, I'm just gonna be rambling on about Cho'Gath because he has even jungle because of his vulpful blades and wall recorders playing things a little bit faster than they should be. I don't know why, it's really buggy, but yeah, this game I messed up my attack speed boom, which is pretty sad, and someone was just there as well, but yeah, Cho'Gath. He's solid jungler, so well you could put him on tier 1, but the bottom of tier 1. Because, think about it, Cho'Gath has 3 AoE, or 2 AoEs, 2 CCs, and he has amazing sustain. His passive gives him health and HP, and along with those 2 AoEs, he can pretty much stay in the jungle. And Warple Spikes is really strong, being AoE and whatnot. And if I had the attack speed runes, things would flow much nicer, but I don't. So, let me explain my build, because, yeah, I get Madrid's Riggles, into Riggles, and Wizard, and then Atma's. That's basically your core. Why exactly do you ask that? Well, Cho'Gath does get around 3k HP, max V stacks, with no HP items. So you can still utilize Atmos, and if you were to get like War Mogs, which you should never get on Cho, you probably get only a bonus of like 15 or 20 damage. So yeah. And yeah, what's end, just cause the tax means just so you can proc your B much more. Like fights and whatnot. And because it looks a little bit more tanky with the extra magic resist. The only thing that I do not like about this build is that Cho'Gat doesn't have too many gap closures. And he has to rely on his initial rupture in order to get close to it. So this whole time, I'm just farming the jungle. Because it's an all much. In my opinion, jungle isn't the best farm because you could still out farm in a in a lane, but sometimes you get denied zone, etc. But jungle just straight up farming would be more the most consistent way. You see gangplank, and I don't even know what he's doing. Like, I don't feel he's too threatening. And as you can see, I haven't ganked because. Yeah, I'm sure that. I just want to see how farmed I could get. As you can see, I am nearly on the top CS, but Morgana is completely ahead of me. Probably if I had the attack speed runes, I would be able to be on par with her. Because I have the armor pen, in my opinion. Spamming Vorpal Spikes more frequently would just increase my damage output. But yeah. So Cho'Gath's a pretty legit jungler, he can have very diverse roles, you can build him the AD Cho'Gath, which is maybe it's not recommended, I think it seems pretty decent, if you already have like, someone to tank and whatnot, but you never know, it might be the new flavor of the month, people, like Cho'Gath jungle, he's not slow, and he can stay sustained, and he can pretty much go any route he wants, because of the sustaining vocal spikes. And also, wait, I forgot to mention, he's a great jungler as well because of his double smite. While you're channeling your R, because you know you have that, like, I don't know, 0.5 second or something delay of your feast, while you're channeling, you can smite. So to scare barons and dragons, you can easily dish out an extra 178. Oh, sorry, yeah, 1078 true damage from the neutral bugs. So if you know how to time it properly and play Cho'Gath enough, Cho'Gath enough, you might be able to steal barons or completely secure barons. Because it's, it's 
piece is just very powerful for buffs such as Dragon or Baron. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna this up and focus once again on farming. And I don't gain much, but when I do, they're successful. So, I don't know what I'm doing. So, I see the Morgana. What's good for Rupture has quite a long game, so you can catch them off guard. Yeah, I was gonna go feast it, but no. Call it much, you know, but whatever. It just means blue buff will be gone on Lux and it'll be more efficient. So here, we're just gonna push this turn. I like pushing it. The enemy jungler isn't aware, or and we get a free turn. So that's always nice. And here, I just got the hard gold just for an extra HP, and then the extra gold, because I was thinking maybe getting random. So, um, Morgana has an amazing amount of farm, but like 90 damage. 300. I'm probably as well. And Aurelia is pretty fun. And, uh, so, Jungle. I think the misconception of jungle farming is that you make. You can just farm the jungle and out farm other lanes. The problem with that is some of the kids are not to control. And here, yeah, I'm just get scared. But yeah, the thing is. Yeah, here I swear I die because I'm retarded. So, anyways, well, actually, I don't die. I lie. Let's die. So I start laughing in this bush. But the thing about jungling is that the jungle creeps don't give as much gold as the actual um, creeps in lane because the mini wolves and wraiths, which are pretty much half the creeps that you get, are worth literally four gold. So that's almost one minion ish. So that's the main subjection, but some it sort of makes up for the fact that. Big Golem is worth like 70 gold, which is why I like counter jungling it. The Big Wolf and the Big Golem over a whole way through. But it's really risky. Anyways, I'm just rambling at this point, and I'm just gonna skip to another clip. So yeah, what you miss is that farm got only 10, and third buff, so it's just funny, because it's nearly kind of the way. So attack speed, two scrubs. Um, the funny thing is they run away from me. I'm too intimidating. <laughs> um, you know, 80 Cho'Gath, too strong. So yeah, that was kind of hilarious. Because, as you can see, I'm really durable. With my, with the Wits End, and I'm with the Merc Treads sometime. So with the Merc Treads, Wits End, and Atmas, and Wriggles, you walk at about... 160-ish armor, 150-ish magic resist with full, um, with your wits end stacks at full, so you're pretty durable along with the um, 3k HP you get. So you're pretty durable in team fights, and you have two nice CCs, and yeah. So damage-wise, other than like AP Cho has burst, but not too much after it, so, but I'd rather, I'd say, um, 80 Cho would have more single target DPS, because 80 Cho would have more blades, so, start hurting shit, and yeah, not much, you know, I feel like getting away from it. And this is where I learned how to do the smite trick, I used smite and I feasted it, but I was like, hmm, I wonder if you feasted while, or did smite while you're channeling your beast. And since like, smite, you can like, use it whenever, except in stealth. Uh, yeah. So you got knock up, save, and whatnot. And this, this moon though is too good. Moondo goes where he pleases, and he's gonna proceed to chase the Katarina. I failed to knock out, but I planned that, so 
so um, Katarina would get the kill because who needs to kill when you kill that? So I have my Atmos and I'm ready to beast out shit and yeah, I have 203 attack damage. I have 177 farm. And yeah. Pretty beast. I'd be intimidated if I was on the phone too. Yeah, Mundo too fast. Yes. Very slowly feeling. I don't even know who wants to focus. Check the out. Okay, maybe if I I'm making it easy. And yeah. It's also another. Let's see, I've tried to fail flashing from going from here into red camp and cut them off there, but yeah, I can. Nah, uh, yeah. What? So, yeah, just. Pretty beast farm. Almost top, but this Morgana is crazy. Not really, but. Set falling apart with the stakes and yeah, you know, 80 so too strong. Yeah. I just find it funny when Cho'Gath hits people and they can't run away and you just keep on hitting them and they die slow and pain and death on four bull spikes. That's just, it's pretty funny. It's, you have this Cho'Gath, like auto attack me to death. That's where we get like, I'm posting the video, because I'm supposed to watch it somewhere else. someone who's teleporting, I'm finally aware, so then I just left it up. We'll just go for that. I don't even know when any heal is necessary. Like, I'm afraid of the cleavers, but not on the spears. But yeah. So I'm trying to do this. Like, why would you even try and, like, Counter or steel baron from a choga, especially when you're a pro choga and you're a jungler too. So yeah, jungle. So I should know this. So yeah, I decided to troll a bit, get the phantom dancer. I was thinking like, okay, I'll get tanky, the war mobs follow the meta and whatnot. But I was just funny too, so I'm like, I'm breaking this gameplay. And yeah, uh, how many times have you seen a Cho'Gath like out the game playing? I haven't seen it. There might be a Cho'Gath burst the game playing, but like, man, I'm probably, I probably out crit him because I could for like 500 and I don't even know. So yeah, I don't even know what I'm building on Cho'Gath. All I know is that I have a black creeper now. And he's coming out. And we're gonna fail again. Man. I got used to it. I remember where I spent my gun before. And we go our like I've really rushed hourglass. No, not hourglass, Zonia's. Like the ring. That's how long ago I played Morgana that way. But then like, yeah, meta shift. Morgana being OP and meta, stop playing the gun. Good game. 